Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Let's continue our talki talking with every NPC in this place. Ah, the fighting foul blood. Glad to know one of you has a spine. Was that a thank you? As close as you're gonna get from me today, friend. Damn sight better than what Zevlor's got coming after leaving us to die like that. Hmm. Hurt you Ian, didn't he? It could have been worse. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. Hmm. I'm guessing that didn't end well. No. Nah. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Hmm. Don't waste a step. Hey, what was that ruckus that we heard? I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Don't you dare lay a finger on the child. You threatening me? Just warning, I've dealt with your time before, human. Understand the kid stole my locket. He go oh, the hell's with this. These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Where the hell is he going? What do you mean that we can't use it right now? A long way to go still. Eh? Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Okay, why? I believe it could be connected to this hat. Why we can't use it? Come on, guys, get up here. That's one way of ascending. No, we just cannot go through that hole, apparently. Do you know something about this? Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Hmm. Wait, which one is this? Get help for healing at tea. Oh, she's down there. Okay, let's try finding Nettie. Yeah, she's on there. Um, okay. 
this week. It's almost finished. What if they tried to steal from us? Again? Okay, well, it we won't show us. Once. We take Grove Law seriously. By letting that child escape without consequence. Ah, there she is. I see you. Just give me a moment. Mm, is there anything we can do to help? A moment. This may be kept. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? Um. He, um I'm looking for Nettie. You found her. But I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about my flyers? Why are you asking? Um, mm, mm, there's no way of... a good way of putting this. I, uh... I have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Are you gonna kill us? Ooh. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Hmm. The true and I have some kind of parasite. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Mm. What's that plan? Will it help? It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Hmm. I fell from a ship in the sky, but something caught me. It saved my life. Protected from on high. Mm. Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flare ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look. You've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you would cure me? What about the rent of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, 
You seem perfectly normal. Hmm. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hmm. That's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Hmm. So, what do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Mm, you're sure he can cure me? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. It sounds like you're making a lot of assumptions that would kill me. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. Fine, we'll find him. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Uh, what was oh, all something here? in that vessel? Take a closer look. Oh, this one. It really took me to. Where's the if I was stealing something? Track the druid, find whatever bar he runs to, and report back to me. Remember, you are only a scout. Do not engage, do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I shall decide what we do next. M. And we are here alone. Maybe I need more pockets. Will anyone notice if I take the book? Extraordinary happenings. While meditating in the forest, Nettie and I were ambushed by a pack of goblins laid by a drow. He, we had no choice but to defend ourselves. But that is not the extraordinary or rather disturbing part. On the drow's deaths, a parasitic creature emerged from the corpse and attempted to escape. I managed to capture it, but have the host's cadaver here in my study. I've told no one of my fears. Nettie suspects, but knows better than to ask. I will investigate further before informing the others. Koga will demand answers I don't have yet. I had better record any further findings in a separate volume and keep them upon my person, lest prying eyes jump to the wrong conclusions. Huh. Okay. Anatomical sketches of both a troll and an illicit tadpole are accompanied by notes written in an urgent scribble. The parasite was nested deep in the brain matter, illicit, undoubtedly, yet the host seemed unaware while alive. 
No visible signs of thermophosis on the cadaver. Most strange. The final note is a single underlined word. Altered? Looks like housing's our best bet for a cure. My dear Nettie, I entrust you with the circlet to open the library. Wear it always. If you need to enter the vault, talk to Ralph. He has the room, but won't give it to anyone. So be sure you have good reason to ask. Protect my research while I'm gone and take care of the animals. Don't give fish to Tuffet. She's getting lazy. That's the house in. Okay, so now we can get out of here. Once again, they just have to go through the table. Okay. Can we now go into that hole? No. Why? Okay. What do we have here? Find Zuru. This is for the Gifianki Kresh. This is... Oh, that's a long way. This is for the Druid Halsin. And there was something else? No, just those two. Yeah, three. Okay, so let's find the Kresh first, maybe. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress, and we're no warriors. Hmm. Oh, it's him. Oh, it's good that you're training. Again. No, no. Swing and swing. Carry it. And again. Shut the door. Oh, what's happening here? gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca. you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with mm. what's well, up between Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you move. No, shoot me. Should be easy, right? What's wrong with you? Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Mm. She still has a story to tell. One I want to hear. T your soft heart will be the death of us. Gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Hmm. Who is this Absolute you're so fond of? Your god? Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Oh, an all powerful goddess that can get you out of a cage. Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will, if you want to save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. 
cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. Mighty Booyog. Hmm. Well, I'll certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Hmm. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find a priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the orgs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Hmm. Deal. Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. I'm gonna buy the... You gonna open this cage or what? Just be patient, I'll break you free soon enough. Well, hurry up. I got all the time in the world. You don't. Let me out, you bunch of Oh, be quiet. Huh? So, here's I would like to open this. Well, so, you know, we could do this with lockpicks. Can't reach. Can't reach what? Still alive, so that's progress. Anything of use? And can you, you, can you? Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Okay, let's save here in case the hell is let loose. Bloody teeth everywhere. Can't slow down. No. Speak up. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Who is this absolute? We're burning her name. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Okay, give me a moment. My dagger. Seems simple enough. Oh, Zoro. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Show some sympathy, Lazil. He's terrified. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Sympathy will not lead us to purity. Enough. Kichoki. Fine. You, tell me where you saw the Githyanki. On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. Saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. Man, I just. I just ran. The map. Show me. Right. You've you got what you need. Yes. Your mediocre interrogation technique notwithstanding. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Subordinate? No, we're partners. You treat me with respect. Kenyank, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. 
What do you mean purification? The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay, we are tieflings with Eth. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. It's Ferun. <laughs> we broke her. I know. Okay, what is next? Ah, Sniffler, I don't have good news for you yet. Now, don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. A scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. Where did I put that old bucket? Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Oh, maybe he has some weapons. It must be time. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Mm. Okay. Let's see your wares. Ooh, you have green weapons. One. How many people are dumb enough to ask? What? <laughs> True. Because it's hand crossbow. I mean, mine is still better. You? You could use better weapon. 72. Oh, those are boots. You already have boots. I don't see any. Oh, athletics plus one. Okay. And I think she is okay with him. She should be okay with medium armor. I just want to get rid of all this crap. Perfect. Put armor plus one. Okay. Let's see, you take this. And what else? Metallic gloves. Don't be grumpy, Rowan. And metallic bits. I am not grumpy. The scowl on your face would find a troll. <laughs> okay, now I would like light armor for me. 60, 80, how much? 189. I don't know if, it will, if we will be able to get it with her. No, we should be. Stash and what is four pixels? A separate weapon type high armor. This is medium armor. You wear medium armor. This one gives plus one bonus to dexterity saving throws, mm. one less slashing damage. Ooh. Right now my armor is 11. My AC. This medium, medium. No, she. Okay, we have one from her. Plus two armor class, saving for plus one. Die if I met the road, can reach 
There you go. Okay. I think that will be it for, for with him. That forge is holding by, on by a thread. Are you a smith? Sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into a vanish. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, mm. my offerings are far more humble these days. That's understandable. Yes, thank you. Damn. You want this from now on? I think I'll give her the torches as well. give her the precious things we have. Okay. Would I so have another one here? No. No helping it. We're exposed oh. now. Uh Ooh, Rose complete guide to behavior or limbs. Trader appears encouraged by your interest in this item. Though of course you'll need to pay for it. Of course. This one. Ooh, potion of invisibility. How long until Roland shows off his thunder mm. wave? Depends. With a plate. Are dumb to ask? And we need eight. <laughs> True. Hi Naya, are you interested? Maybe close manuscripts. I'm not giving away my soul coin, that's for sure. A rope could be useful. Okay, what? 38. No, that's too much. We would end up at... Mm, 16, we need 9 more. Can I just split? I could die if I met the rower can reeking of this place. Why didn't you I split it? Okay, why? It's a splitting. Thank you. That was weird. Handwritten in a swinging scroll, the red ink of an eager editor slashes through most of its contents. Two inscriptions, each in a different hand, are scribbled inside the cover. V. Absolutely not. E. Dearest El Minister, while you may lack imagination, names, I assure you, do not. Nor does the public that eagerly awaits this work. I will refrain from publishing this piece for now, but only that I may conduct a more extensive bout of research. Your friends are these many years. Bell of Tom Gerard, Auto Researcher, Raconteur, ETC. Would they really know? Have you ever had a god change your blood? It is a horrifying thing, even for those who may desire it. Yet few tieflings wished for Asmodeus to claim their bodies, only to be given no choice in the matter. It is not as if we were well loved before the Archdevil's gambit. Our people have always struggled against the notion of devil kin, as if a single drop of infernal ichor inexplicably corrupts. How amusing, when so many others willing sell their souls to fiends, yet 
their culture as a whole escapes the blame. By what method can we redeem ourselves when the crime is not all ours? I would drive a blade into every warlock that aided Asmodeus's damned ritual, but personal vengeance cannot undo the will of a god, much less one as slippery as the Lord of Lies. When every passerby thinks you are a thief and a heretic, it is deeply tempting to become one. The only thing that has stopped me is knowing Asmodeus wants nothing more than for all of us to fall from grace. Variety is the blood of the city itself. For better or worse, the devoted will find a place to worship, the dedicated will find work to be done, and let it be fully understood by any who wish to visit the criminal enterprises in Baldur's Gate thrive as hurtly as the rest. The stained, well found pages filled with travelling advice that seem to be the case out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Shantar, the Risen Road provides an overland route for all the way from Eluter to Baldur's Gate, and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Shantar. A portion of the road approximately halfway between El Torel and Baldur's Gate has in recent years developed into an enclave for saloon worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has de developed alongside the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Fa farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers where a toll is required to own for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll. However, bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. In fact, the greatest joy of my life hasn't been acting, but becoming. When you choose a character to play, you, just, you don't just wear a mask, you take a little of their soul from your own. Whoever you are in your heart of heart changes, if only by the fairest bit. Altergard. A lot of territory to cover before Baldur's Gate. And any cure found there. An aging map of Altergard and its surroundings. The cities of Baldur's Gate and Elturel are both marked, but it's the wilderness in between that's covered in notes, symbols and ciphers. The freshest ink marks pictographs of goblins and gnolls shown gathering in the forest and hills nearby. Oh, he is reading something. That is he. An excerpt from the ongoing meta text were bound. Oh, wait, I think we read that. No. Uh, we're bound by Yosefa Elgrin, a school excommunicated from the Church of the Nair for the character efforts to reconstruct the metatext, her gods are all of lost and hidden knowledge. But perhaps greater still than their monopoly as the continent's largest private army, the true achievement of the modern Zentarim is the sanitized image they present to the world, viewed by most as an efficient, if a scrupulous mercenary organization, few would guess at the Black Network's dark origin. As a cult dedicated to the dark god Bane, once bent towards bringing all peoples to heal beneath his creed of tyranny and domination, many among their ranks scoff when confronted with this fact, citing overblown conspiracies and reassuring me that the only gods to whom the Zephyrim give worship today are the twin deities, profit and power. This is not this to say the organization has entirely shed its dark side. However, alongside the clenched fist of their military, another hand works from the shadows to ensure that the network prospers even in peacetime. For just as vital as the movement of troops is the movement of goods, legal or otherwise. And there is no border or market that is ever truly close to one bearing the seal of the black network. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. 
If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Can you delay the ritual? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Hmm. You need to cut your losses and run. I'll help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Um. Hmm. That depends. <laughs> I mean... I don't want to kill their leaders. I just wanted to tell you that I need to take a goblin out of the camp. <laughs> Okay, let's save here. This isn't my problem. Please reconsider. The people in this camp need help. I can only take us so far. I know you'll do the right thing. Okay, so can I take the goblin? I hardly need a body. No, let's get out of here. It's such a shame. Even though I didn't play the previous Baldur's Gate. I know that you could freely move around the camera. I saw it that you cannot do he do it here. Hmm? Oh, it's over again. Please, I I've been through it. Okay. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Okay, let's take the. <coughs> Goblin with us. Although I don't quite understand how she wants to get out of here. There's someone inside here. Oh. Um. Oh well. Storehouse? Yeah, it looks like a storehouse. Okay, let's save here. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Follow me. I'll keep you safe. Napoli. Lead the way. Someone else made the prayer join you can like, control the movement and actions. We have followers push to take control of them. Uh attacking enemies while you are hiding will catch them by surprise. Your rescue attempt has been noted. Yeah, because I use your next move carefully. I didn't. I wanted to hide her. Quiet. She's going to help me destroy her old camp. You are persuasive enough. You and the goblin are free to go. Hiding on him. Breathing, despite everything. Uh. At the ready. Wait. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Why? Wait. You're an idiot. I cannot use it anymore. Okay, I want you to hide. Goblins didn't kill me too. Don't mind me. Don't say that. 
I'm just sad and bored. What path lies before me? Let's get in and out. I believe it would be easier to get her through here. This way. Can you not go into the bucket or something? How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Rescue attempt has been noticed. Choose your next move carefully. Mm. Persuasion. Minus one. I think because we are sneaking. You are persuasive enough. You and the goblin are free to go. I've got food, water, my dagger, and her Oh no, it was her? Why it wasn't her? We should be fine going this way. Rescue attempt has been noticed. Choose your next move carefully. Yeah, now I have all the kind of... bonuses. You are persuasive enough. You and the goblin are free to go. Soon I'll persuade the whole camp. How can we get up there? Oh, it's inside. Okay, never mind. Okay, we can go up here. We haven't gone this way. I remind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. Okay, there's no way for us. There's no reason for us to go over there. So let's go down here instead. Through the gate. Open up, please. Okay, now we need to go that way. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract. Ah, thought I was never gonna get out of there. Good to be free again, gotta say. Hmm. You made me a promise, remember? Never break a promise, unless there's something in it for me. I'll introduce you to my whole tribe and put in a good word for you. See you at the camp. Yes. Aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? Mm, no. This place seems remarkably tense for a sacred grove. Perhaps we shouldn't linger. But let's at least see if there's a healer to be found, first of all. Yes, and I wasn't... It was my intention to... Well, we have lots of stuff to do over here. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Hmm. I will go where I wish. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. 
Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Try to block him out. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will. She. She. <sighs> Edwin. Ed. Please. He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin. Our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Explain this absolute to me. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Pah. I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. Hmm. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the druid Halson. I don't know any druids. Hmm. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, ma'am, but... The Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Hmm. These fugitives. Tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but... Anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What happened to your brother exactly? An oil bear. It had him on the ground before we had a chance to react. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Mm. Forget the oil bear. You're still alive, so go. Well, and, and just leave Ed. I suppose. I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. They spoke of the Absolute. Same as that goblin, Saza. Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Hmm. Let your body guide you. Welcome to tadpole's influence. And you all wanted to talk. Be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Halsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Are you sure a crash is the only path to a cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a Zathis purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. Hmm. 
That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Okay, thank you. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, so uh, now they don't need to Something talk to me matter. about anything? Uh, okay, never mind. So I screwed it up. Promptly. By no talking to them directly after. Um, they have my speaking of animals. Yep. I believe this is the cave they were talking about. You don't say. Hmm. No traps, please. That stench. Have Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Can we look? Ooh. Oh, we can get down here from. Oh. Saluna statue. It is stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Anyone else can throw a hammer? Magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. I'm fading fast. I must heal. Hmm. No, no, no. I did not want to speak with you. I wanted to pick up that book. An ancient tomb telling how Saloon came into being along with her sister, Shar. The silver radiant Saloon and the dark, alluring Shar, complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Will it work now that I snuffed out the candle? No. Try to. Hmm. There is work to do. Oh no, this is for damage. Indolence breeds madness. No, I don't see anything I can do with this. So let's put the marker. Thank you. Yes, why? Gilded chest. Great. Let's go out of here. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear. Its Why it's big face looming out of the darkness. Wait, what's her? Look away. Honestly, why is her? I want 
have not to. You know what? I honestly. I have no idea why the characters keep changing. Why the game does not record properly how when I change the characters back. Evna is selected. Yes, Evna is selected. Evna goes to the old Albert. You feel the quake of its Okay, it picks her, her character on random. Why? Beaked face looming out of the darkness. Mm. Do we have animal handling? Yes, yes, okay. Study the owlbear's behavior. They wanted to speak to it. The owlbear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance and see an owlbear cub. Oh. Hold out your palms, you mean no The harm. owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now or step closer and die. Okay, can I, I, Evna, talk to you? Seems like a good moment to talk. You feel the quake of it. What's this? Something weak. Something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. You're injured. There's still half a spear locked in your head. It's a splinter. I've got a bigger threats than you with worse. Just... no. Just allow me to leave. I'm not afraid to you or your cab. It's a shame that this is how it has to end. You're small. Weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Very well. Hmm. I was interested in there is more we can do here, but it's just way too stubborn. Okay, and I think we're gonna end this part here. So for Let's now, see. thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!